have basically three quadrants in the readout uh, screen. The first quadrant is uh, looks very similar to an Excel spreadsheet, and you can view that by doing this. And again, each one of these is a time and date stamped data point. Again, we were logging once a second, so you can see 10, 20, 6, 0, 8, 0, 9, 10, etc. And then each at each logging interval, these were the values that we recorded. So some people find this very useful in this particular uh, layout. You can also export this uh, into Excel, and we'll do that a little later. The other quadrant is, of course, the XY graph, which is by default um, uh, comes up with this uh, preference set. There are preferences that can be set in the software to get different types of displays, although these are really the three. Two, I should say, for the value for the values of the uh, log data. The other quadrant is the details pane, and what this does is it allows you to look at the data for the logger, for the deployment, and for the and the statistics of the of the series. So the logger info is really the same for each series. It gives you the model number, the serial number, the version of the firmware, our manufacturer's name. The, the amount of memory and when the header was created or when it was originally uh, put together. The deployment info gives you information about our deployment that we just created. Tells you what was uh, for this particular series, for temperature series, it says it's a 10K thermistor. Um, the description is what we put in, the number of deployments the logger has had over its lifetime, when we launched it, the interval, etc. This is very info, uh, interesting and good information uh, from a historical background. And the statistics gives, gives you some information about when the first sample was made, how many samples were taken, uh, what the maximum value, minimum value, and average was, and what the standard deviation was. Again, very, very useful for some applications. There are some uh, further graphing capabilities that Hoboware uh, allows us that may be interesting uh, to discuss at this point. Um, because this is such a short and small graph, what I'd like to do is close this plot and open up a historical plot that has several days worth of data on it. So with your permission, I will do that now. I will close this plot. Well, let's, uh, yeah, let's close this plot. And we're going to open up a different plot. Now this plot was um, taken over several days with the same logger, so you'll see the same deployment name and part number, etc. Again, this is the plot window. Um, we're going to look at temperature and relative humidity only this time, and we're going to uh, not look at events and plot it. Okay. And what you see here is you see some spikes. Um, you'll see a spike in temperature and another spike in relative humidity, and what these are is uh, myself handling the logger. Okay. So some things you can do with your, with your plot once you um, display it like this, there's some, uh, some interesting features in the software. One is the ability to zoom in on a specific area of the data. And we do that by following my mouse up to the top. We click on the magnifying glass tool, or the zoom tool. And what that allows us to do is it allows us to zoom in on a specific area of the data for a, a finer granularity. So I'm interested in seeing what happened during this area right here. So we're going to draw a box around that data. And then we're going to click inside of that box. And we just zoomed into that particular um, bit of data to find out exactly what's going on. We see a lot of activity here, and it appears that I'm going to go back to my arrow tool just for the uh, just to kind of uh, give me a pointer. We can see that the this area of activity is between approximately 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. on the 21st of August. So what that's telling me is this, I, I am assuming that this is the activity during, the, well, this is the business, the business day. 
so the activity here is is a reflection of the activity of the HVAC system because that's the most active part of the day for our HVAC. We, uh, we have a programmable thermostat here, so that is trying to maintain a specific temperature and relative humidity during the day um, and with the goings and comings and people's activity. Obviously, it's cycling more than it would uh, during the night. And what we can do now is we can scroll, we can scroll back or forth along this uh, zoomed-in view to kind of quantify that. So what we do with that is we click on the hand tool right here, and we click down on the left mouse button, hold it, and drag forward. So what we're doing is we're kind of going forward in time. As you can see, we're now we're looking at 6, 7, 8 o'clock at night, and our, our iterations or our uh, fluctuations in temperature and relative humidity greatly diminish after everyone leaves, which kind of makes sense. And we can go all the way through the data file this way, all the way to the end. Now, if we want to go back to the original plot, we would go up to this right here. And this is, um, it says show graph at full scale. It's really a restore back to the original plot. So we click on that, and we're back to the original plot. Some other features of this software is uh, the ability to filter data and create new plots based on those filters. The way you would do that is you would click on the arrow tool and then you would select a plot to filter. So I, what I would like to know is I would like to know what's my average temperature over the deployment or perhaps even better let's let's try to do uh, my average temperature per day because we've got a couple of days worth of data here. So let's click on temperature. That highlights all of the data in this plot for temperature. You'll see that all of this data here is selected. And you can see that the, the XY graph plot for, uh, representing temperature is also selected. So now we go to edit. And we say filter series. And here is where we can apply the filter. We, the, the available filters are maximum, minimum, or average. So for the purpose of this exercise, we're going to click on average temperature per day. And here you can select, you can put in anything you want. You could say, if you were going to do by week, you could say every seven days. If you're going to do it by month, you'd say th every 31 days. You can also do it by hour, by minute, by second, if you'd like to. And then you can give it a unique name, because what it's going to do is it's going to create a new plot on this XY graph. For the purposes of this exercise, average temperature, actually what we want to call it is average daily. So let's do that. All right. And if we click on OK, we've just created a new plot based on average daily temperature. And you will see up here in the tabular format that what it does is it creates one entry per day. Scroll down through, you'll see it. You'll just see one entry per day. It doesn't disturb the existing data at all. Again, because um, we only had three days worth of data, there's really only three data points. So what you'll see is three 